what is up youtube so i finally did it to my friends family everybody what's up with the youtube you said you was gonna make a youtube i finally did it guys here it is this is gonna be the first video i just kind of want to introduce myself explain why i want to make this youtube channel what you guys will see on this youtube channel and things like that first and foremost I am a second lieutenant in the United States Army. My name is Kimberly Kelly. I just recently commissioned through Army ROTC at Prairie View A&M University. I commissioned on May 11th and also graduated on May 11th. Let's get into it. Um, first and foremost, I wanted to make this YouTube channel just so I can uh, show people things that I didn't get to see on YouTube because for me, Everything that I go through or experience, I like to kind of, um, I like to research. So when I was joining ROTC, I was like, hmm, let me see if anybody in ROTC posted any videos, making any videos, what can I look forward to? Cause I really had no idea how college ROTC was. I originally came from a injury ROTC program, which is Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. And that's in high school, in high school. So then I transitioned to the Army ROTC, which is in college. Uh, I'll do a whole nother video on those two transitions and how I got there and why I chose the Army and not the Navy and all that stuff because I jumped around a lot. I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel um, for so many reasons. I like the fact that you know you get to see, experience things through other people and you get to learn things through other people. You get to learn what not to do, what to do, good, bad, regardless. You get motivation from YouTube channels. I just wanna be that person that can help someone get out of a funk or even if they're happy, keep them happy. Because I know a lot of people come up to me and they tell me like, you have motivated me through like, maybe I'll put something on Snapchat. Like every now and then I'll post a video or a picture of me working out, like going on a run. And they're like, you motivated me to start running. You motivated me to do this. You motivated me to not give up. So that's just what I want to keep doing. That's kind of part of the reason why I even wanted to be a, a army officer or an officer in general, uh, because I just want to help people, motivate people. I want to be that person that you know people look up to i want to and at the same time that also helps me in the same way so anytime somebody tells me that i motivated them to run i'm like dang now i gotta go run and literally just the other day i was um i, I had a snapchat somebody commented on a snapchat from the previous day and was like you make me want to go work out i'm gonna start working out next week and at that very moment i was laying in bed and i was like i don't feel like running today as soon as they sent me that message, I was like, I'm going to get up and go run. Because somebody out there, no matter what, even if you may not feel like it, somebody out there is counting on you. Somebody out there is looking at you and seeing what you do, and they going to go off of that. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this YouTube channel, because it pushes me when I push others. I just want to show what's I'm about, what I'm going to go through. I haven't been to BOLIC yet. If anybody doesn't know what BOLIC stands for, that stands for Basic Officer Leadership Course. And it's kind of like where you go to learn your job on what you're going to do. I commissioned as, as an armor officer, which is one of the combat arms branches. I just want to show my experience. I want to show people like kind of what it's like going through BOLIC. Um, if you are in an Army ROTC program, you all know that you have to go through um, a thing called advanced camp, also known as cadet summer training. So as a Army ROTC cadet, normally your junior year, that summer of your junior year, you will attend a, a program called cadet summer training. And it's also known as advanced camp. And that's where basically they'll test you on everything that you learn throughout your ROTC career. Like, can you do land nav? Can you take a PT test? Can you lead your soldiers? Can you do basic leadership things? It's not necessarily, are you right or wrong? It's just, can you lead people? Can you tell people what to do? Can you make a decision and go from there? So I went through that. <clears throat> and so this year, now that I just commissioned as a second lieutenant, I will be going to back to cadet summer training, but instead I will be a cadre member. A cadre member is kind of like a teacher, another word for teacher, professor, that sort of thing. That's what cadre stands for. 
So I'm gonna be going there for about two months. I actually leave in about two days. Today is May 23rd. It's a Thursday and I will be leaving on Saturday, May 25th. And I need to be there on May 26th, in case anybody was wondering. So I will be going there. I'm gonna show you guys my journey going there. Cu couple things that I'm gonna be doing. But do note that I will not be able to show everything. Um, I need to get a little more knowledge on what I can and cannot show, but I'm gonna try to show as much as I possibly can. I don't have a GoPro, so I probably won't bring my camera to the field because this camera is very expensive. And yeah, so I'll show you guys that that whole process, um, my first experience as being a The rest of this YouTube channel is just gonna be helping people, motivating people. Uh, I know a lot of things that I have experienced or went through or do it motivates a lot of other people. I didn't realize it until, you know, a lot of people commented on things that I do or I post on Snapchat or something like that. They say, hey, you motivated me. Appreciate you for, you know, doing this, doing that. You don't know how much you helped me out. So because of that, uh, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do the whole officer thing and be a leader is because I enjoy influencing others i enjoy pushing people to do something i enjoy whatever i go through how it helps somebody else get through something else i hope i get to like travel a lot i want to show that um anything i experience i just want to show and share it if i can't show it i'm gonna share it okay any other things about me real quick uh i'm 21 years old uh, my birthday is august 28th i am a virgo I don't know really what else to share with you guys. Uh, one thing for sure is I know I always wanted to be in some type of uniform service. So when I was younger, I was like, I want to be a firefighter. Then I was like, no, I want to be a police officer. And then I discovered the military and I'm like, I want to be a military police officer. And then ever since then, I just stuck with military police officer. And then I just kept doing my research. And then I was like, hey, I read they starting to let females into combat arms. I like tanks, armor, it seemed like the perfect fit for me. So then I stuck with armor. And that's how I ended up where I am today as a second lieutenant in the armor branch. Um, my commissioning ceremony as well as my graduation. Oh, there she goes. ROTC cadets for commissioning. Please feel free to move forward and move about to take pictures freely during the ceremony. Cadet Jasmine Grimes. Cadet Kimberly Kelly. Cadet Dominique Stewart. Cadet Dominique Sumter. Cadet Kelly Thomas. Midshipman Ulysses Bennett. Attention to oath. Second Lieutenant Kelly will now receive her commission certificate. She will be graduating with a Bachelor's of Science degree in Criminal Justice and will pursue a career as an active duty armor officer. She will report to Basic Officer's Leadership Course in Fort Benning, Georgia. Yeah. All right, Kim. Second Lieutenant Kelly 
will receive her first salute from Sergeant First Class Young. I knew I always wanted to be an officer. That's one thing I did know. I never wanted to enlist. I don't think anything is wrong with that, but now looking back and all the experiences that I had in ROTC as a, a cadet, I realized I kind of wish I did enlist just because you get a more feel for the Army when you enlist versus when you go straight to ROTC. When you go straight to ROTC, you kind of it's kind of a gap between like real Army and how Army actually works versus like cadet land. It's a little different. It's pretty much the same, but I just wish I could have experienced the real deal before I jump into it. But other than that, it's I think I did everything right. I wouldn't change it for the world. I love the Army. Just, I hope I get to like travel a lot. I wanna show that. Um, anything I experience, I just wanna show and share it. If I can't show it, I'ma share it. Okay, it was, that was, it's like literally like, you know, when you raise your right hand, like that's it. There's no turning back. You can't say, oh, I changed my mind. Like, no, you in. This is what you wanted and this is what you're gonna get. So that was cool. Uh, yeah, I just want you guys to welcome you guys to my channel and I hope I inspire you guys throughout this channel. I hope I make people happy. I hope my family can follow along, family and friends follow along with me on my journey because I will be going, you know, from different states so you guys won't be able to be with me physically, but I want this channel to be able to want this channel to be here so you guys are able to be with me you know spiritually and y'all can watch me and make it feel like i'm not too far away so i hope you guys follow subscribe like my channel i promise there will be more videos to come i will be leaving on saturday so i'll probably vlog a little bit of that me driving my brother's gonna help me drive it's gonna be uh, about like a 14 hour drive which isn't too bad when it's two people I'm going to be driving to Fort Knox, Kentucky, and yeah, so welcome along this journey with me, 2nd Lieutenant Kelly, and uh, hope you guys come back and watch me.